a food court is using AI to help diners find seats and gain business insights on managing service. Observers say it could raise efficiency and quality, but they warn of risks too. Caitlin Ng with more. Now imagine you're hungry or in need of a little break, but you're not sure of what to eat or if the place you're going to even has enough seats available. Well, this place just might have the solution for you. So this is Kimberly, a generative AI assistant that can help me with whatever I need during my visit to the food court. So Kimberly, it's a bit of a hot day today. Can you suggest something for me to eat? How about trying something light and refreshing? You could enjoy a bowl of ice kacang from Kobe Kiosk. Kimberly can even suggest food tailored to allergies and spice tolerance in seven different languages. Another feature at this Maple Tree Business City Kopitiam is the seat availability map. Aside from handling security, CCTVs also feed real-time updates on empty tables. It can even detect seats reserved with tissue packets. We're definitely trying to deploy more of this AI technology to help our customer because we value the, uh, we, we want to bring them an elevated customer dining experience. Mr. Chia says the costs of this system will be absorbed and won't be passed down to store owners or customers. Some observers say prices of such systems may fall as adoption grows, but also highlighted a bigger challenge. At some point, um, we will have like uh, smart train return systems, maybe automated cooking stations, or even tools like server or waiters. We are starting to have this risk of losing the human touch that can make uh, the hawker culture unique. And while technology may change the way Singaporeans eat out, Dr. Sama says finding the balance between personal interactions and technology will be crucial.